chubby, kind this girl and kissing a possibly parted lips? I assure you, controversy is not the ultra flush which is promote. Negroes and chubby girls buy hair spray too, Mr. Spritzer. This is Montesso. I hope you know how to handle this. I plan to start by firing him. We can't fire Corny Collins from the Corny Collins show. Why not? They do it all the time on Laffy. <laughs> Mr. Spritzer, keep your audience sleep. You gotta keep up with the times. The show's fine the way it is. Bringing Tracy on is just the beginning. I've got plenty of terrific ideas for updating the show. I'm getting one of my sick headaches. This is one tussle. Is there a place where I can lie down? There's a bed in my office. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got ideas, do you? And going behind my back to put that no talent commie on the show is one of them? Damn right, Tommy. It's time to start putting kids on the show who look like kids who watch the show. Not while I'm producing it. Yeah, I was thinking it might be time to change that, too. Are you threatening me, Colin? You know me, Velma. On the other hand, I could always take the show to... Channel 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That snake, that thing, he's a puppet. But I hold the purse and the strength. God, I knew he wrote day. What great head I have changed. Now he's pushing his pink off. Who might give us all me? She's a blemish, a black head that must be expelled. He's a standard of beauty that must be upheld. You can say I'm a bigot, but it just isn't true. Look, I love Sammy Davis. He's black and a Jew. But you can't She appreciates your vote for her Miss Teenage Hairspray. Oh, she loves you too, very much. Whoever you are. Okay, goodbye. Oh, this is crazy. Hello? What am I wearing? A house dress and scuffies and sub hose. What are you wearing? Hello? Hello? Mama, did you see? Did you see me? Of course I did. It was on the television. I had to. The phone's been ringing like it was a telethon. To think, a beloved TV icon, the fruit of my womb. So you're not mad? Mad? How could I be mad? You're famous! If only you told me you was going to get on the show, I wouldn't have said you couldn't. So tell me. Is fame everything you thought it would be? Are you happy, honey? Yes, Mama. And I think I'm in love. I know. I've been following. But we're going to have to have a serious talk about crooners and learn a lot from the mistakes of Miss Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> there it is again. Hello? Yes, this is Tracy Turnblad. Hello, Mr. Pinky. Mr. Pinky? The Mr. Pinky, as in Mr. Pinky's hefty hideaway, quality clothes for quantity gals, that Mr. Pinky? You want to hire me as your exclusive spokesgirl and fashion effigy? Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's an effigy? <laughs> that is very flattering, but I'm afraid all business must go through my agent. It would be our pleasure. We'll be right over, Mr. Pinky. Goodbye! Ooh, an agent. Oh, I don't know any agents. How about a nice bail bondsman? <laughs> Mother, put that thing down. I'm taking my new agent to the hefty room. And then out of the town! Oh. Me? Oh, Tracy Turnblad, fame has gone to your head and left you wacky. You need a top shelf professional. Now, uh, who handled the Gabor sisters? Well, who didn't? Mama, there's a great big world out there that I know nothing about. When times get rough, a girl needs her mother. Sure, hon. I'll be right beside you if that's what you want. And together, we'll put our way to the top. But if you can't do that over the phone, oh, I haven't left the apartment in years.
You finally found a title you can win. Miss Stupid Pants. <laughs> Knock it off, Amber. Amber Von Tossel, you have acne of the soul.
Sure, that's probably what the audition. Well, that's only what we need. Is this here my love gift? And what do you have? Oh, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.